China will w win this race. Yeah, it's looking a lot like it. I was in China in April in Beijing. I used to live in Beijing, but I hadn't been back for a number of years, which was good to help me practice my Chinese before I landed. And she was from Hangzhou, which is where Deep Seek is made. She said, oh, I'm from this city. It's the birthplace of Deep Seek. So there was a pride there. Whereas in the West, we don't have that pride. There's a lot more complicated feelings about artificial intelligence. Whereas in China, the people I talk to are a lot more excited about the implications of it and what could be done with AI, which I really liked. And then I kept bumping into AI in daily life. Once I was in some alleyways looking for a noodle bar, couldn't find it. I talked to a grandma and that's like, a, can you help me find this noodle bar? She had this really thick Beijing accent. If you don't know, it sounds a bit piratical, but... Uh, <laughs> Her accent was so thick that I was really struggling to communicate with her. And at one point she just pulled out her phone and she didn't bring up a map or anything. She went deep seek and she wrote into it. I read her Chinese afterwards. It said, please help this young man find this noodle bar and give it to him in English. Or what was it? it gave me directions to the noodle bar in English. She must have been in her 70s or so. It's a technology that has been taken a lot more seriously in China, whereas in the West we are still flirting with it. It is very much embedded there. In the big bookshops, when you go in and you see the bestsellers, you see the books that are being promoted, they were all about how to use deep seek and artificial intelligence. And I have a few of them. I purchased a few over there. It is a more popular approach. Like Everybody is starting to use it, whereas we still have we're lagging a bit in the West, let's put it that way. So, yeah, they're doing very well extremely well i think when we get to robotics as well that's going to be the ball game because china has the manufacturing capability to produce robotics at a cost which allows them to become widely adopted one of the main problems in robotics is we can build really impressive things but if it costs the same as a family car that doesn't make it practical to use on a day-to-day -day basis a couple of thousand dollars a thousand dollars five hundred dollars a hundred dollars then suddenly it's oh, okay everyone is going to have one of these in their houses and that is not going to happen in america that's not going to happen in europe we don't have the manufacturing capability it's going to happen in china because for the last few decades the west has sent all of its manufacturing over to china which is incidentally what trump is finding out with the tariffs 